What's going on, everybody? This video, we got a little Anthony Richardson auto issues going on. I was going to talk about this. Uh, I think I saw this on Friday or Saturday, one of the two days. And I wanted to wait to see what would come about onto it. So, real quick on backstory. Somebody pulls an Anthony Richardson auto from uh, this year's Prism. Of course, like many collectors do, they go out there, want to have the card graded. Comes back from PSA saying, no holder. Do not, uh, I think it says, do not, let me find it here real quick, pull it on my screen. Do not hold her. <laughs> I knew it was something like that, but do not hold her. So, comes around, find out about it, saying that, you know, in question is the sticker autograph of Anthony Richardson. The... I guess this came from IG just by a look of it saying Panini is allegedly under investigation for producing Anthony Richardson cars with fake autographs. Completely false statement there. PSA is not currently conducting any type of independent like investigation over the authenticity of the autograph. And they put something out publicly to that extent. I believe it was via Twitter. They later came back and, you know, they started talking a little more about it. And when a card is basically sent for card authentication grading, the manufacturer auto is not taken into consideration. So kind of kind of weird when they start talking about it. But they did say they are in getting in touch with Panini on to this. The autographs look different and all that. My guess, to be honest, is I don't know which arm or uh i guess you say shoulder injury he had if it was his throwing non-throwing arm but if he also signs that way possibly he saw him you know in a sling and a cast whatever it may be it might throw his autograph off a little bit he's just trying to get his stuff done that's probably the best thing i could think of offhand i don't think we have another dak prescott auto pen going on hopefully not offhand uh anybody remembers that from back in the day i, I don't think that is the situation, at least I would hope not. I don't know anymore how they exactly do these autographs to authenticate them. It used to be like, oh, somebody take it out. They'd sign all these stickers and whatever cards in front of you. Now I think it's something they send them. You got to do it in front of like a webcam doing it. And then you send package everything back up and goes back through. I don't know. But if we're starting to get issues like this, you know, it's not really quality control on this one where we have like, oh, I'm trying to think here. Bryce Young on Anthony Richardson auto type deal. Um, this here is just, it doesn't look the same with all his other autographs. So it'll be quite interesting here to see what the outcome is onto this. Uh, if you guys go back a few videos uh, before this, I had that LeBron James, which I knew was going to be a question to begin with. And before I said in, and it, you know, gets, for me, it goes out there, they can't, they do their piece, and it comes back to me, something happens to the car, I figured I'd reach out, you know, ahead of time. This year, I can understand why not reaching out ahead of time. But they do uh, their best on getting in contact with those uh, manufacturers, whether it's Tops, Fanatics, Panini, Upper Deck, Cross the Board. I can say that at least with the Upper Deck piece of it all, because uh, I was following that pretty good across the board. So what do you guys think offhand? You know, did he sign this while his arm was injured? Maybe in a sling cast? I don't know. Um, did he have somebody else sign him for him? <laughs> Is this somebody else's autograph, which I highly doubt. We've seen that in the past offhand. But I'm going to keep an eye on this one because I'm kind of curious. It just brings back the old Dak Prescott auto pen. I guess you'd call it scandal from back in the day. Of course, oh, I didn't know you couldn't use an auto pen. <laughs> But, all right, guys, I'm sure you guys probably seen a little bit of videos out here now about this. Uh, I just wanted to wait a couple days just to see what PSA was going to come out with. I was trying to see if I see anything from Panini. I haven't onto it. But, you know, just curious what the outcome will be onto these. It makes me wonder, hey, if I actually saw an Anthony Richardson Prism Auto, would I buy it or not right now? All right, guys, that is it for me. Take care. Catch you next one.